Keith, it's been quite a few years since we were both wandering the halls of WSM on those early mornings. You've had a remarkable broadcasting career, entertaining and informing people all across the country. Congratulations on this terrific honor. You know, to say Keith Bilbrey knows just about everybody in country music, that would be an understatement. Now, we've all heard that country music singers have always been a real close family. Country music singers have always been a real close family. And one of the closest members of our country music family is our next inductee, Keith Bilbrey. Now, keep in mind, Keith started in radio at Cookville's WHUB in 1968 when he was only 16 years old. Now listen, you guys, don't tell anybody, but we've done a little bit of digging into the Bill Bree biography, and we found out, uh, like most of us in broadcasting, Keith made his share of mistakes. Well, as uh, he loved to have folks drop in and, and visit with him, and we were there one evening, and I'm sure we had uh, several there. Somebody either uh, hit a button or he hit the wrong button. Well, it didn't take too long, I think, for uh, the owner to give him a buzz and say, you better check your equipment because everything's coming over live radio. Thank goodness he didn't lose his job over that. Keith not only survived, he thrived. And six years later, he was in Nashville, living his dream, working at WSM. He then became one of only a handful of announcers on America's most famous stage, the Grand Ole Opry. Live from the world famous Grand Ole Opry House in Nashville, Tennessee, this is the- Now imagine, over 40 years in radio and only two radio stations. During those years, Keith cemented his place in country radio by helping out other members of the family. The kids. The Brothers. Hi, Keith. It's Howard and David here. Hey, man. How are you doing? We heard you were inducted into the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. Okay. Congratulations. I want to say congratulations. Good job. You well deserve it. Bet, man. The Sisters. The Mothers and the Daughters. For decades, he worked with the Dean of Country Music. Hi, Keith, this is Ray Stevens, and I just want to add my congratulations to you being inducted into the... Uh, it's the Tennessee Radio uh, Hall of Fame. Man. The Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. Ha <laughs> ha, woo! Keith was there at the birth of modern country music and at the funeral of its elder statesman, George Jones. How appropriate it is that we're gathering here at the Grand Ole Opry for this service. George revered the Grand Ole Opry. I remember one night... And we can't forget all those years in television as well. A bunch of that. Let's go, Keith. Name something that people do at midnight on New Year's Eve. They shoot fireworks. <laughs> yep, Keith has done it all. Even today, he's a busy man. He's working on Larry's Country Diner. You can hear him coast to coast on Hippie Radio. He's doing Music City Roots, writing his autobiography, and, uh, oh, something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight, he's our MC. Uh, this man has had an incredible lifetime of service and accomplishment in the broadcasting industry, not just for Tennessee, but for the country. Congratulations, Keith. Wonderful achievement. Well deserved. God bless. Hey, Keith. Bilbrey. Congratulations to you. Bye. We got to get ready. Make everything nice. All of Keith's friends are coming over tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our next Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame inductee, Keith Bilbrey. All my rowdy friends are coming over tonight. 